What's going on guys, it's your boy Avionics back with another action figure review video. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Now in this video, we're going to be finally taking a look at the Jim Lawson style Eastman and Laird's Ninja Turtle 4-pack that came out a couple months ago. I'm finally getting around to opening it up. And so I ordered mine from AliExpress a while back and I finally got it about, uh, I want to say about three weeks later. But I've had these in my possession for a while, I just never had the time to um, unbox and take a look at these. So now we're finally getting around to it. So, like I said, AliExpress, so this came, the box came damaged, and, you know, I don't really care about the box, but everything inside looks fine, so, but, but yeah, the, the box is all dented and whatnot, but, um, here is the front, awesome looking, uh, artwork of Jim Lawson, right on the front, now this does drop down to show off the Ninja Turtles, like so, in their window paneling. And then uh, let's take a look at the other side of the box. But we got like um, we got this artwork right here on this side, uh, and then this product product artwork on this side. Back around the back again, we have how they displayed them in a few diorama shots, showing off some of the figures, and then the rest of the wave, and then along with some uh, of the Jim Lawson style foot soldiers. So let's go ahead and crack it all out of the box. So this is the uh, inset cardboard piece that you can find inside the box behind the clamshell of turtles. That's pretty cool artwork if you want to keep that around. And like I said, mine's a little bit damaged, but you can flatten it out. You know, if yours came damaged, and hang it up on your wall if you want. But um, I just wanted to add that you can find these at Target um, for $150. I paid about the same price for um, at AliExpress. Just had to pay shipping. And um, I did get mine... Um, around the same time that Target released theirs. But um yeah, so um 150 bucks for this four pack, but let's go on let's go ahead and continue on to taking a look at the figures. Here's how they set them up in the clamshell with all their accessories. I know I'm going to have at least one comment saying, "Oh, you got a four pack of Raphaels." I know I'm going to get it. But anyways, this is how the turtles are in the packaging. This is supposed to be Michelangelo, Raphael, Donatello, and Leonardo, and the way to differentiate that as well, for one, Leonardo has his katana sheets on the back, Donatello has his bow staff slot right there. Now between Raphael and Michelangelo, Raphael is supposed to be a little bit more uh, battle damaged on the front, um, front shell, so as you can see it's got more artwork showing off more like scar scarring and whatnot because uh, if you take a look at the, around the back, they're basically almost the same. But um, yeah, it's basically the same molding, I want to say, for all four turtles. Nothing seems to be different other than more line work on Raphael's body. And then uh, upcoming, we're going to go over his secondary arm. But these are the four turtles. Once again, Michelangelo, Raphael, Donatello, and Leonardo. Also, if you pop the heads off... You're going to see uh, an initial, then this one is um, W. Who's W? No, it's actually an M. M for Michelangelo. So that's also every uh, how you can differentiate each turtle. Just pop their heads off and you'll see their first initial engraved on the inside socket. So taking a look uh, at Michelangelo, this is his head sculpt. Now they only come with um, one head each. But great artwork, great detail in the teeth, the eyes, the brows. You know, they're all wearing the red bandanas because that's how the comics were back in the day. And drawn up by Jim Lawson. The front shell, the front, the line work on the arms, the belt, all the padding. And I really like the the look of and the, how stocky these turtles are. So it's going to have some good leg weight so they can balance when you're displaying them and then they do all have their little turtle tails right there then we got peg holes at the bottom so that's michelangelo let's take a closer look at Raphael here so once again more detail as far as battle damage on the front shell but um all pretty much the same sculpt um they didn't really differentiate the turtles amongst one another with um, the molding and the sculpture of all their limbs and everything. Just the uh, faces. So here's Donatello. And he's got more of the, uh, you know, just a subtle little grin on his 
face, on his mouth. But yeah. And then um, oop, there goes Raph. He's going to get pissed. And then Leo here with the, uh, I don't know, he's got a different kind of strapping because of his swords. And then this is how his face looks like with his mouth. And really cool looking details of the of the the katana swords sheaths. So let's take a look at the um, accessories themselves. So each turtle gets an extra uh, set of bandana tails, and basically this just to show motion, like they're in the wind, and they're all pretty much the same sculpt and paint application and detail. So you just unpeg the ones on their their single head that they come with, and then just pop those on. And then there's a total of eight extra hands besides the ones on the turtles themselves, which are all gripping. Let me grab one real quick. The turtles. So all the turtles out of the box come with regular standard gripping hand poses. Just like that. And then these hands. So you have a set right and the left of a closed fist with side to side articulation. A second set of hands of relaxed hands sculpt just like that with a uh, articulation of side to side there and then this one is for Raphael because he you're supposed to be able to put the side main blade through his second and third finger right there and this is articulating side to side and then the the last pair of hands are uh, action pose fingers sprawled out and these swivel side to side as well okay and then here are uh, Mike, Michelangelo's nunchucks. Now one of them actually, the, the string pops out pretty easily. So, But I like how they made it actually a, an actual soft, soft good style rope between the nunchucks. I really like that rather than like a, um, a static a static pose of the, uh, the nunchucks. But yeah, here's the nunchuck that is loose off of one of the, uh, the ropes. I'm going to have to probably... Um, I don't know, super glue that one on in, I guess, somehow. Maybe that'll work. And then there's a total of three ninja stars, and they all look like this. And then here's Donatello's bow staff. Detail in the hand wrap right there. And then here are Raphael's size. They look really cool. Pretty pointy. Once again, these are not for young children to play with for these are adult collectibles so be careful nice detail in the hand wrap of the handle and then um this is supposed to belong to Raphael. this is like part of his little dis i don't want to say disguise but he just wears this sometimes in the comics and this would just pop over his um the head the shoulders area so let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. I mean, you can put it on any turtle, really. But in order to put it on... Do you have to pop the head? Or no? Let's see. Because it'd be hard to put the head back on if you take it off. You'd have to take off the uh, the peg first. Or the, the, the bandana tail. So this is Donatello. So we're just going to use Donatello as a reference. Okay, yeah, so you just pop it right over the head and shoulders with the head attached. So that's pretty cool looking. It'd be actually pretty cool if all four turtles had had this. That's pretty cool. But yeah, it's supposed to belong to Raphael. And then this arm in the set is actually belongs to Raphael also because in the in the comics of, of that time, the Jim Lawson, he added these uh, extra arm wrap that wraps around the bicep. And this is supposed to be the right arm um the way everything kind of the natural curvature so that yeah this is supposed to be the right arm but i mean if you wanted to you could probably peg it into any of the other turtles but um articulation of this one right here and then a bicep swivel which is kind of tight at the moment and then a double jointed at the elbow right there in between 
And then here is the set of katana blades for Leonardo. And they have a little bit of a paint detail here where it separates from the white and the chrome. So it's like a little light bluish right there. It's kind of blending in with the, my background at the moment, but you can probably tell right there. And those are all the accessories. All right, so articulation for all the turtles is going to be pretty much the same. And we're going to use Raphael here. So we're going to have rotation all the way around at the head. Shoulders can go up as far as this. 360 degrees right there. But there is a, the bicep swivel is kind of tight on, on them all. But it's supposed to have a little bit of bicep swivel. There you go. Just have to warm them up. And then double jointed at the elbows like I showed in the extra Raphael arm. And then all these hands swivel side to side. I'm gonna take a double look at everything and let you know, oops, yeah. And they pop right off so you can pop on the new hands, the other set of hands. And then rotation at the wrist all the way around. Legs, here we go. Raphael doing the splits. Kicking forward as far as he can, but it's kind of going outwards. It doesn't go out straight. And then as far back as that. And then double jointed knees. Right there. And then, oh, and then of course at the hip, we have the, uh, the thigh articulation that we can swivel the thighs. And then articulation at the feet. That's as far as they go back before they go all the way forward like like so so now it's kind of limited right there and then but swiveling is pretty good and um, all the articulation should be the same with all four turtles let me double check all the hands yes yeah, so all hands swivel side to side including the ones that are attached to the body upon opening all right so let's go ahead and do some size and scale comparison with other ninja turtle action figures NECA Cartoon Mikey and Super 7 Donatello. NECA 1990 TMNT Movie Donatello. And then NECA Universal Studios with the Ninja Turtles mashup uh, Raffenstein. And then here with NECA's The Last Ronin Armored and Unarmored uh, Last Ronin Ninja Turtle. Alright, so this review and unboxing of the Jim Lawson Mirage style comics Ninja Turtles made by NECA is coming to a close. But here's some B-roll shots of our four main home bros. But yeah, um, this is a $150 four-pack set that you can probably still find on Target online, possibly in stores at Target. But uh, once again, I got mine on AliExpress and it, it, came, it came to me pretty much the same time Target released theirs. So I probably should have just waited. But not a lot of complaints for these four dudes. I mean, they are a little bit too bright in the green, but you know, nothing to complain about. Everything looks good. Um, nothing, no loose joints at all. Uh, I like the, you know, the bulkiness of these figures. You know, it is taking on the style of those bulky comic turtles. So it, everything is gonna balance quite well from head to toe. But yeah, $150 for this four pack set is a little overpriced when comparing it to other NECA 4-pack sets like the Turtles in the Skies, which was $125, and you got a lot more accessories with that set. But I guess the the, the value hitting home with this one is just Jim Lawson and the Mirage Style Comics, and um, I guess just the bulkiness of these figures. They are bigger than the cartoon Turtles in that Turtles in the Skies set. So if you guys enjoyed watching this video, I'd appreciate it. Hit that like button. Leave all your comments and thoughts down below. Let me know if you guys snagged this set as well. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell to be notified of future content like this. Thanks for watching, guys.